What is up everybody, welcome into this new video. I'm going to be showing you how to create some videos using Steve AI and of course I'm going to be using another way called the ChatGPT. So this both application work with artificial intelligence. This one is going to be helping us to create stuff using templates, animation, text, uh, of course using the actual uh, intelligence of the artificial intelligence and the ChatGPT is going to be helping us to generate some content so then later on we can use ChatGPT to import that in to steve.ai. The very first thing you want you to do is to go directly into steve.ai. I want you to go into sign up. The process is actually really, really simple. I just want to use uh, create an actual username. Let's go for Express animations. I have an actual passcode here. And then later on, I have the sign it up. So I have the sign up. I hit into sign in. And then we are now inside. So as almost any kind of applications, we need to verify our actual account in order to continue. So now that we are here, we have the free boson, we have the premium access, and we have much more. So I want to focus now into the free boson for this tutorial. So what I want to do is to start by creating a video for YouTube. So let's say, for example, that I'm creating some uh, tutorials, for example, some videos like I just used to do here into this actual channel. So I want to be focusing into let's create some videos. Here's my dashboard. I have the all the live animation blog voice and social media. Let's go and focus into animation. And here I have text to animation. This is something that I wanted to use. I'm going to hit into text to animation, use script from the library or copy and paste a text. So I choose that option and then later on this one is going to be redirecting us into the edit mode of the app.steve.ai. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to go back now into the chat GPD. So here into the chat GPD, this is what, uh, this is a tool that almost anybody that makes video wanted to use. So let's say for example that I'm using actually the same stuff is called Techspress. Audience are going to learn are going to learn the basics about e-commerce, marketing, social media, creation, and much more. That I have the answer mark. So ChatGPT is going to be helping me to create a solid introduction, so I can copy this information and paste that into the Steve.ai. So, for example, I have the Welcome to Express, the channel that brings you the latest insights and strategies for success in the fast-paced world of e-commerce and online marketing. If you're looking to grow your business, blah, 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 blah. So I think this one's going to be really, really useful. So I'm going to use the first words from Welcome to Marketing. I want to copy this one and let's go back into the steep.ai. So I have the type or video, type of video, have of course animation video. By default, we only have this one, so just leave it like that. And here into the category, we want to go and look out for explainer video. And then here is the title. So here into the title, I want to just wait a few seconds here and I have the error auto insurance explainer, have the auto explainer. So I want to look out for, I'm going to scroll a little bit down and look out for something like really, really just go into get started from today. So I want to actually delete all of these elements. I don't want to see any of that because we have our own actual um, script, right? I hit into the enter mark and then we have now scene number two. So what we're going to be doing here is just to use this element to paste it into the actual steeped. So if you're looking to grow your business, blah, 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 uh, you're in the right place. Let's copy this information and paste that into the scene number two. So I'm going to go back now in here and use the same stuff. There we go. So I have now my three scenes. So what I want to do now is to choose what is your video about? I'm going to go here and let's go for um, Techpress intro animation sources you hit into the all if you want to add a music you can do that if you want to add a voice over by yourself you can do it as well i actually just won't do that at the moment i just want to focus into get started with the actual script so i'm going to focus now into next choose your design so it's really important to choose the one that best fits for your company, for your brand, or the type of videos that you're going to be creating. So that's the reason why you wanted to explain the application, what kind of content you are going to be creating so you can get like the most accurate themes for your brand, for your company, for your videos. So in my case, I'm going to be focusing into something like this, for example, or like this. So uh, then later on, I can change the background, I can change the images, I can change the guys, the characters and all that. So I just want to be focusing into something like too easy. For example, this guy, I clicked my theme 
and now we have going to be opening the actual workspace. So as, as this application is actually working, so sometimes it might take a few minutes when you create your script and you choose the themes and the animations. So you can uh, take the time, go back into the actual chat EBD, and then start to generate uh, your own content. For example, I told the app, create a fast 10 steps to start as a YouTuber influencer. So this one says, sure, here's a 10 uh, quick steps to get started. Have to choose number one, choose a niche. Step number two, create a YouTube channel, plan and produce high quality. Make sure your videos have a great content message. Uh, promote the channel, engage, collaborate, analyze, stay content. So if you think that this actual steps bring value to the actual content you want to do up into your uh, into your video then you can just uh, try to make this a little bit more detailed so let's say that I wanted to use all of this element to have an actual full video full 10 video so I can go and ask for something a little more details there we go this is the part we want to actually start to customize our video because I think it's actually looking really bit really basic but it's actually working so far so here what I want to do is to edit the text if I want to or I can change the color I can change the theme uh, I can get into the X mark and then go back and add different audios if I want to the actual animation of one girl uh, just fading in in the actual element of the text and all that I think it's actually uh, working well but I'm going to try to make this uh, a little bit more smaller I can change the size day and later on, but I think I just needed to just retract a little bit like that. So it's actually not looking that bad. I can add an, even an outro if I wanted to, but I need to pay, of course, for different premium plans. And I don't want to be focusing there a lot. So lastly, guys, what I can tell you just to do if you want to export this and you don't want to use a force, you don't want to see this actual watermark, what I can tell you just to do is to redrag, for example, this character here like this and I'm going to redirect it like this so then later on what I want to do is to delete the actual element uh, like this by using Canva as we just did before into another video and check it out that this uh, here we have the actual watermark so that's the reason why I just told you that we need to redirect all our elements into the left part so then later on we can just redirect and hide the watermark so we don't have to see this anymore and boom voila we didn't have to pay for absolutely anything we just read drag and drop and all our elements are actually appearing into canva even if you don't like um like you see that there's actually some elements that you cannot change for example you want to make this smaller you want to change the actual font of all or, or, or what or whatever uh, what you can do is just to don't use that elements you use this elements you import them in here and then you can use Canva to change your actual, your actual custom titles, fonts and all that. So here you have more liberty, but you're using all of the steep.ai elements so then later on you can change that inside Canva and this one is going to be helping us to make your videos a little bit more uh, with more creation, more complex, more creativity. And at the end of the day, we didn't have to pay absolutely for anything. So with that being said, we have now covered the basic of how we can get started into steep.a. Of course, you're more than welcome to upgrade to the, to the premium version to see what more elements those steep.ai has to offer to us. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if this was very useful information for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I think I'm going to be seeing you guys in the next video. See you soon, guys.